So we're going to get to know the ping pong delay a little better in this video and the ping pong delay I'm going to use on a particular instrument in this composition. I'll play you what we've got so far. This is the one I'm thinking of running through the delay. So I'm looking for something to add some drama in this first breakdown. We're going to use the ping pong delay to add that drama. That really creates a nice tension in this section before everything kicks back after. So, let's just go over some basics. I'm going to solo the brass stabs and we're going to bring on the ping pong delay. You've seen me use this several times already on the course, but I just want to spend some time making sure you understand the way it's working. So we've got the dry wet balance here, of course. I'm going to reduce that for the moment. Let's have a listen to it as it is. So we can hear the echoes occurring. Let me take the feedback down. Here we go. Let's increase the amount of the feedback. Filtering down with each delay because of the way the filter is actually set here. Let me increase that. And let's go to the maximum amount. So we get a good strong level as it fades down. But it is fading down because we've got the filtering occurring here. If you ever need to stop these, just bring the feedback down. It takes it out of that loop. So let's open the filter by clicking the mouse on the handle here and widening that. And let's have a listen to see how that sounds at the maximum value. It's a lot more present because there is no filtering. I can filter this right down now as a nice effect afterwards. So we could write this into the automation. So let's get in there, let's record some automation, let's make this nice and dramatic, and we're gonna make use of the filtering in order to create a nice progression. So in order to do the automation, we just do record up here and then push play, and I'll do it on the fly. Let me just get a good starting point. Yeah, somewhere around there will be a starting point. So here we go into the breakdown. So that's one section there. I think we can do something different on the second one. And what I'll do is I'll just make a note of where the feedback was over here. I'm just gonna do a little manual click on this to create that, to save me having to record all that stuff again. Let's keep this high. Let's take it down afterwards, just in case we wanna use those again. And I'll do something a little bit different here. So what we'll do, is we will adjust the filter in a different way. So let's just get this going here. And we'll do it once again on the fly. I'll tell you what I'll do also is to increase the dry wet mix balance because I think it's going to give us much more drama. And what we'll do is we'll just drop down onto the ping pong, come down to dry wet. And I'll take this up. Let's create a nice little transition there. In fact, it could be quite interesting to make that go absolutely dead here so that there is no affected signal after. This is a mixing course, so we've got these aspects of this like a class as mixing, but equally this is like the composition as well. So you know, it's another one of these ones where the boundaries are being quite blurred. So let's just have a look. Let's uh, play with the filter on the fly on this section. Yeah, much more dramatic. Yeah, 
yeah, so working really, really well there. So you can see how the combination of the usage of the ping pong delay in a conventional sense at the beginning, you know, so I'm talking about that feedback amount that I was happy with at the very beginning. So let me just select and right click on these, delete envelope. And we're going to start, in fact, with this amount. Let's take that one away. So that's a good value to start off with. I think it's got the right kind of texture. And uh, of course, let me replicate that. What do we have? 26%. Let's make this the same. Bring that up. So we've got a good sort of mixing concept here. So we're happy with the feedback and the balance of everything and the filter. And then we take it into composition territory with the automation. So we adjust the parameters in real time to create this nice, interesting hype in the breakdown section and then kicking back afterwards. Let's have a listen to the whole thing now.